Hello guys, we're back out again with another video. It's Team Z here, and we're about to cook some nice things. So we got Chef Oko here. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna be making some nati nati beef korma, and essentially it's kind of like a curry, except for it's made with beef, and there's not really any chickpeas or anything like that. It's kind of hard to explain if you don't know Urdu. Paki edition. Bruh, essentially. But let me show you how it's done. It's really easy. I'll show you guys real quick. Hey okay, guys, so right here we have two nice and chopped onions. And what we're gonna do with them is we're gonna have them in about four tablespoons of hot vegetable oil. And essentially what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to fry these babies up. Okay, so we're gonna get them nice and brown. Not like the last video where we're sweating them. We want them nice and crispy. And once they get nice and crispy, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some ginger and garlic on these babies. I'll show you what happens after they are naughty and brown and crispy and delicious. Okay guys, so look at these nice crispy and brown uh, onions here. You know, some of them are not all that done, but that is okay. Because what we are going to do, here, follow me. What we're going to do is we're gonna get some ginger garlic paste. All you have to do is just put this in a blender or a mincer. Just do this. This should be enough. This is around a tablespoon. And all we're gonna do, actually, I'm gonna put a little bit less, because you know, you don't want it too gingery. And then we're gonna go right in there. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna mix it all in. These nice and crispy fried onions. So mix all up. It's nice and sizzly. You hear that sound, baby? It looks good, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I try, you know. But you know, mom is behind the scenes uh, cutting the onions and making the ginger garlic paste. I rate that, yo. That's I love respect. That. But essentially, we're just gonna do this. And now it is time to add in our meat. Let me go get the meat, guys. Look at this nice, nice beef. Essentially, what we've done here, just put some yogurt, ginger garlic, some lemon juice, and some some packets from Sean. You know, the nice ones you get at the like the Indian stores or the Paki stores, whatever you know. Those ones, yeah, I get the nice um, bon, uh, Bombay biryani. And uh, I used another one, I don't remember it, but I will put it in the link below. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this nothingness and we're gonna put it down with the onions. All right. <laughs> Zach, Zach rates it. Zach rates it. Mm. Honestly, guys, I can't wait to try this. <laughs> <I'm done>. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix the onions together, and it's on high again, so we're gonna keep it on high. So let's mix this all up. Mix aroni this, and I'm gonna show you how Hamoudi is going to do this. Okay, guys. So. We're mixing this all up nice and nice and nice and nice, you know, very, very nice. I can't talk. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. And I just got a notification from Spotify. I get free premium. I like that. This day's looking nice. But look, Chef Hamoudi. The yogurt man. Chef Hamoudi, the god of all yogurts, is mixing up the yogurt to put into this nice korma. You can also use this to make biryani, by the way. But we're just having it on the side of rice. We're not making it today. But look at that fill. We'll come back to you when it's fully whipped. What's it doing? It's whipped. Nice and wet yogurt that Chef Hamoudi has done. Amazing. So now what we're gonna do is simple. We're gonna dump this all in here. Make sure to get all that out. This is around uh, four tablespoons, maybe five. So make sure to get all this nice yogurt goodness out. But if you can't get all the yogurt out, just give this a uh, hermudi and he will lick all of it so you don't get away with any of it. He won't let any yogurt go to waste. I'll finish it for you guys. <laughs> I'll talk to your house straight up and finish it. All right, so now that we've mixed that in, all we gotta do is mix it in again. Let me just mix that little part on the bottom for you. Let's just see how to show you how it will look. Look at that amazing looking korma. Okay. Korma is essentially just like um. There's many ways of saying it. It's it's kind of hard to describe in English, but many people call it salen. Um, 
It's not really a curry. It's uh, it's it's really hard to explain what it is in English, but uh, you don't even need to know this name for this delicious dish. It is amazing. Inshallah, you all get to try this. How do you see it? Is I can't speak. It's so good. I've had it. My mom made the special ingredient. I can't show you guys that though, yo. It's a special ingredient. Passed down from generation to generation. I can't give that away easily. Maybe if we do a next video. It's this video. Actually, I'll show you the ingredient. If this video gets a nutty 200 likes, I'll give the, the nice secret um, ingredient to this dish that makes it taste so much better. It's amazing, trust me. So I'm gonna mix this up and I'll come back to you when it's all mixed. Okay guys, follow me. What we're going to be doing is we're gonna put a nice lid on this. Keep it down low when it's all, look at that. It's all mixed. I added a little bit of yogurt just because there was a little bit left. And uh, you know, Hermody needs to not lick it up, but we put this on low, power burn on here, and we're just gonna leave it until the meat starts to tender up. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. That's essentially it. All you have to do is just serve this over rice, and you're good. Look at this, it looks delicious, doesn't it? Nice, good tender beef. Look at that. Mm. It's delicious, it smells amazing, doesn't it, Hamoudi? Yes, sir. Delicious, yeah. Essentially, just a little bit of rice, some yogurt vibes. Some lemon vibes, you know? Yeah, I like that, I like that. And that's it, it's done. All I have to do is turn off the sun. Boom, and we're done. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video for a nice beef korma from Team Azat. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.